Over the past five years or so, a gaggle of mostly self-proclaimed media experts have made a cottage industry out of predicting the death of newspapers. Why? Because it's always been easier to get attention by saying that the sky has fallen. These modern-day media chicken littles won't get a peck of attention from anybody by saying that tomorrow the sun is going to come up, or for that matter, newspapers will survive. Well, at the risk of not getting a peck of attention myself, or worse, being given that most dreaded of media monikers, that is, being called a dinosaur, I'm here to tell you the printed newspaper will be around 10 years from now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years from now. Invite me back in 2023, and it'll be champagne I'm drinking, not crow I'm eating. And I promise you that. You know, it's great to be in a growth business. And the demand for news and information will continue to grow as technology makes news and information more accessible and more personalized for every consumer. The next big area is going to be your car. Then it's going to be on your watch, and then it's going to be on the glasses you wear. It's also great to be the number one local news media company in every market in which we operate. And it's great because national retailers want to be local, and local retailers want to be hyper-local. And you know what? We were local before it was cool, and we were hyper-local before it was a strategy. Dying off? Nah. Going out of business? <laughs> Bullcorn. As an industry, we got barrels of whoop-ass left. And all we got to do is go out and put it on them. So enjoy Orlando. Enjoy media exchange. And when you get back home, tune out the Eeyores. Do a lot more Tigger. Open up a couple of barrels of whoop-ass and put it all over them. And if we all do that and we do it right, We'll all be back here drinking champagne in 2023. Thank you.